All right, so this is part two of a three-part series that I'm doing comparing the orange Jorgensen's planes that you get from Lowe's to the famous Lee Nielsen planes. I know I've been saying it wrong. I apologize. I'm, it's a habit. I'm going to work on it. So in the prior video, we compared the number fours. In this video, we are comparing the 60 and a halves. After that, we're going to be comparing the 101s. Uh, the lot, Lee Nielsen one isn't here yet. So, we're going to go through the specs and I'm going to show you how they perform. Let's get to it. All right, so here they are side by side. Get a little bit of the specs out of the way. The Jorgensen comes in at 1 pound 7.1 ounces. The Lion Nielsen comes in at 1 pound 10.6 ounces, so quite a bit heavier there. The length, they are both the same, so they are both 6 and 5 sixteenths long. Width-wise, the Lee Nielsen is 1 and 3 quarters, and the Jorgensen is 1 and 13 sixteenths, so they are super close. Super close. I mean, just, just a little bit. I don't know if you can see that there. Blade thickness, the Lee Nielsen is one eighth inch thick and the Jorgensen is seven sixty fourths inch inches thick. You try to say that. Price wise, here's where it gets very different. Lee Nielsen, $187. Jorgensen, $35. So we are talking $152 price difference between these two. So let's check them out. So both of them have the same style of cap. There's the caps there. <clears throat> this one's brass, so it's heavier. This is just metal, but I mean, look at that. They're basically identical. Irons, well, there's a difference right there. So this one goes through the blade. Well, let's see, there's play. Less play, so there's a little bit more play on this one which is, in my opinion, good, because that allows, in case your blade isn't perfectly square, that allows for that adjustment right there. This one doesn't have much. All right, let's check out the irons. Yeah, so they are basically spot on. Yep, 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 very similar, very similar. This, this iron also feels heavier compared to this one. Well, look at that. So this one actually has a bigger blade rest right here than the, the Lee Nielsen does. So that's really interesting. This looks like it's machined really well. Does this have lines on? So this one actually has... I don't think that makes a difference. It's got lines on the side, but... Here's the beds. This mechanism looks exactly the same. Except this one. It's probably just because it's newer. It's, it spins better. This one doesn't. It probably just needs a little cleaned. Yeah, it's pretty gunked up. That's interesting though. So it looks like I can actually take this out. See how that's slotted? So it looks like I can actually unscrew this if I wanted to. I'm not going to try though. That doesn't make a big difference. They both have adjustable mouths. So you can see that there. The Lee Nielsen, you unscrew this and you pull this tab. That way, see that? See it adjusted in there. Operates pretty smooth. I don't know if you guys can see that. There we go. This one's flat. I kind of like that. I like the idea of that meeting instead of it having... Points, points, points meeting. All right, let's see how this one adjusts. Now that's a lot smoother. It could just be because it's newer. Doesn't need as much cleaning as the other one. This one can actually go past the mouth. Is that flat? It's flat. It doesn't look like it is, but it is. I am noticing just like on the number four, these sides are really sharp. These ones aren't, and it also has, well, it's a little bit smoother. The number four wasn't as smooth on the bottom. 
This is flat, right? It's it's throwing me off because it looks like it's not. No, it is. Yeah, it's flat. Yeah. I might see a little hollow back here. Nope. Never mind. I take that back. <laughs> All right. Let me... <clears throat> I'm going to sand these corners down because those are just really sharp. Much better. Much better. Check for square. It doesn't matter too much on the block plane, but I like to check. We got square. This side, not so much. Let's see if there's just crud in the way. Yeah, so it's not square on that side, but it is square. Mm. I'd say it's a little out on both sides, out of square, but I know that this is flat. And that's more important to me than anything, because I'm not going to use this as a shooting plane. Alright, I am going to go ahead and sharpen the irons and get them ready to go. All right, so we got them all sharpened up and ready to go. <clears throat> you saw that they were both shaving hairs. One thing I did notice, a little bit of a casting defect right here, out of the corner of the mouth right there on the Jorgensen. Um, the other thing is this it has to be really far back. So when I put the iron in, it's almost like the iron is too long for the plane right now. So see that? But as I advance, I mean, it'll it'll tighten up. But just know that when you put that in, it looks like it almost wants to fall out. But I do want to sand this down real quick. Um, in the number four video, that was one thing I pointed out, that it has these rivets there. So I just want to hit this with sandpaper real quick and smooth it out a little bit. And I'd say that's good enough for me. There we go. That's sitting flat. That defect's pretty much gone now. I mean, you can still see it, but I don't feel it. All right. Let's get them assembled. All right, so I'm going to start with the Lie Nielsen because that's my main user and that's the one that I know. Um, this is just a scrap piece of cherry. So let's get it going here.
There we go. All right, let's try this guy out. All right, so I took a break and came back, and I want to try 
using a card as a shim. Thinking maybe, maybe a shim will work. It might be too big. Put this back together. Alright, so this one was a little bit complicated for me. So I actually, the, the break there, um, when I stopped fiddling with it, I actually went upstairs and was done. I recorded the outro video and I went upstairs and I said, I'm just, I'm just going to post it. We don't get to test them. Um, I spent so much time on this thing, I was, I was kind of over it. And then it popped in my mind, shim the blade. I've never had to do it before, uh, but I've heard people mention it. So I was like, you know what? Let's try it. Let's let's try shimming it. I want to give them a fair shot. Um, and wow, just I mean, just how well it did. It's just it's just crazy how similar it is to the Lie Nielsen, Lee Nielsen. Um, so use wise, 
Um, Performance-wise, they're the same. They're equal. The Jorgensen, it's 36 bucks. You're going to have to shim the iron. That's not a big deal to me for 36 compared to what 184. If I'm remembering correctly, it's like a 150 something dollar difference. I'm okay if I have to stick a little piece of paper underneath the blade to make sure it's not cutting too heavy on one side. Um, all the filing and everything that you guys saw me doing, don't have to do that. I'm thinking if I didn't do the filing, then maybe the piece of card wouldn't work. But because I did, maybe I got it down to a paper shaving. If I keep filing, maybe I don't need to use the shim anymore. But for 36 bucks, it's amazing. Uh, number four surprised me. These ones are surprising me. I'm glad I actually got to test it out because I really like it. Uh, we have the 101s coming up. The other thing I wanted to mention, since the number four is posted already, there's a couple people talking about quality control issues. Uh, some guys were saying they weren't able to get the mouth as close on the number four, but I just dented my bench. But I've had no issue with that. Um, some people are saying the 16 and a half, they have this issue and that issue, and Again, for the price, eh, buy it. If you have that issue, return it. Try it again because other people are having really good results with them like I am. Like, I was just telling my buddy, like, should I really keep around a 300 and something dollar plane if this one gets the same shavings? And I just have to finesse it a little bit. I uh, think of the same thing about the 60 and a half now. I mean, shim the blade and it's performing perfectly. Eh. You guys can make that decision. Keep an eye out for the 101. If you haven't watched the number four video, go watch that. If I remember how to, I'll put a card somewhere. The 101 video should probably be up in about a day or two. Thank you all. Have a good one.